detection theory. Um, we are starting off the uh, uh, series um, with the Bayes theorem, okay? And the Bayes theorem is one of the most important uh, theorems in the statistics, or probably the most important theorem in the statistical uh, detection estimation theory. Okay, so um, uh, what I understand is that you know the basics of the probability theory. Okay, that is a prerequisite to all the video lectures. Some basic understanding is required. Um, rest of the things I'll try to make sure that you do not have um, to dig too deep into the subject to understand. I'll try to make it as simple as possible so that everyone understands it. Okay, so we'll start off with the Bayes theorem and I'll try to explain the concepts of priori, posteriori and the likelihood functions. Okay, um, so to start off from the Bayes theorem, what it says is that it is, it is very simple and a straightforward theorem, but its philosophy is uh, really that baffles uh, even the philosophers and the statisticians, okay? Um, so it's, it's a kind of a fusion of statistics into the philosophy. And you can relate many things in the life uh, with the Bayes theorem. It is so good and so fantastic. Okay, so um, what the Bayes theorem says is simply in mathematical sense is that if I have two events, um, if I have two events A and B, okay, let us say that A and B are two events that I have. Um, let me write it properly, okay, so these are the A and, A and B are the two events that I have. And what I'm trying to say is that um, what is the probability, what is the probability of A intersection B or A and B occurring together, okay? And it's not that uh, A has occurred and the B has occurred, but A and B occurring together simultaneously, okay? so. Uh, what it means is, it's simply mathematical sense is that, okay, this is basically the probability of the event A has already occurred, and the given that event A has occurred times the probability of B. Okay, so the probability that the event A occurs, and given that A has occurred, what is the probability that B has occurred? Right. But I can write this thing in the other way also, right? I can say that, well, what is the probability of B intersection A? This is also same. They are two equivalent to each other relationships. So I what in that case I can also say that well well it is equal to the probability that the B has occurred and the given the B has occurred the probability of A. Can I say this? So if I try to equate these two equations together, so what I get? Okay, I'm trying to relate these two equations together. So these two are equal to each other, right? These two are one and the same. So in that that context these two also has to be one and the same. So what it says is that the probability of A times the probability of B given A, um, which is equal to the probability of B times the probability of A given B. Okay, and if I do some manipulation here, so what it says is that the probability of B given A is equal to the probability of B times the probability of A given B divided by probability of A. Okay, so this is what the Bayes theorem is about. So what it says is that um, the conditional probability, the conditional probability of B, okay, given the event A has occurred, I can find the conditional probability of A B given the event A has occurred from the probability of A, probability of B, and the probability of A. Okay, this is what it says. But it may not be very clear to you in uh, at this moment in time because uh, philosophy has not come into the picture. Okay, so let's try to be more philosophical and let's try to relate um, some of the things that we have mentioned here in this equation. Right, so in order to do that, let's say that, well, A and B, so we'll replace A and B with the hypothesis and the evidence. Okay, so um, let's say that uh, I have, um, I'll just change the color. Uh, hmm, okay, let's take this one. So um, let's say that I have, um, Let's say that I have some hypothesis, okay? Let's say I have got, I have some hypothesis. I have got some hypothesis with me, which is actually my belief, okay? This is, some, so this is something which I believe in. And it is not related to any external factors. It is just that I believe. I just believe that there is something, that this something is there, that's it. Okay, but it is not influenced by some evidence. It is a pure hypothesis. Okay, and and also, let's say that uh, I have some evidence. I have got some evidence. Evidence, and let's denote it by E. And this is my evidence. 
this is my evidence okay which is going to support the hypothesis that I already have a preconceived hypothesis then in that case um, let us try to relate the Bayes theorem so what I'm saying is now um, the probability okay let this change the color um, what I'm trying to say is that the probability the probability that my hypothesis the probability of the my hypothesis <coughs> excuse me the probability of my hypothesis given the evidence that I have in my hand okay it is equal to the probability of my hypothesis which is the probability of my belief that I had before the evidence which I had in my hands times the probability of the evidence okay given that I have formed some hypothesis divided by the probability of the evidence divided by the probability of the evidence okay so um, this relationship or this philosophical relationship that I have um, it is called the diachronic representation of the Bayes theorem okay it's called the IACHRONIC okay uh, forgive me the spelling mistake that it's called the diachronic representation it is called the diachronic representation of Bayes theorem okay and what it says is that um, given that I have got some belief already okay so this is the belief that I am already holding this is my belief okay and this is my evidence that uh, evidence either supporting the belief and this is the probability of my evidence okay this is the probability of evi evidence then I am going to update my belief with the help of the evidence okay and this is what the philosophy of the Bayes theorem is about but let us take some real life example and let's try to examine this okay so um, what I'll do is <coughs> let us try to relate um, let us say that I have got some hypothesis and this belief I'm going in an interview okay let's say that uh, well okay I am going in an interview um, and I have got uh, some preconceived notion about this let's say this job is going to be excellent I'm going to be very happy about this job it's going to be a uh, good uh, very highly paid job it will work wise it is going to be excellent work environment will be fine and n number of factors and I'm I'm forming some belief on that okay and what I'm saying that uh, I'm forming some probability or a distribution on that what it means is that I'm saying that out of 100 times I have been um, to the interviews 5% um, uh, of the time I have found that my pre-belief whatever the notions I had was uh, had come to the true 70% of the time it was almost true and like 5% of the time it was maybe it was not exactly true okay so this is what the belief is about so what I'm I'm attaching some probability to that and I call it as the probability edge so this probability edge is the um, the belief that I have okay it is my pre-belief it is my pre-belief that um, everything about uh, everything about the interview and the interview and everything is going to be fine about the job okay but then then something happens okay during the process of the interview given that I have formed some belief okay given that I have already have got some belief with me I am forming some understanding here